Bars customers get more than just a drink. They get wowed. Bartenders are serving with artistic flair these days, and it's growing in popularity. As Angela Yee reports at a recent international competition, a couple of local barkeepers tossed, whirled, and juggled their way to second place. Teaming up for Ooh. the extreme bartending competition in Vegas is something Grant Riel and Mark Mattel have been doing for the last three years. And each year, they've finished one up in the standings. We look at last year's routine, we take the things we like, we don't like, and then we add to it. We start going um, with the new tricks we've learned over the year and uh, some... Uh, some cool ideas, whether it be um, a little, maybe a little video before our, uh, our competition, or uh, streamers, or noisemakers, or some something gimmicky to uh, get the crowd going, get them on our side. For second place, Mark and Grant won 2,500 Canadian dollars. And while they make flair bartending look easy, it's not. That's the key. Try to make it look easy. Uh, it takes a lot of hours of practice and a lot of getting bottles in the head, especially with a partner, and you get a pour spout in the arm or something like that. But uh, it's worth it in the long run. And while they practice to avoid mistakes, drops do happen. They're part of all competitions. And the biggest challenge for these guys is coordinating their schedules for practice. And what little time they have makes them the underdogs. Beforehand, we're, we're pretty nervous. We always deal with things a little bit differently uh, and visualize things and everything. But yeah, it's tough when other teams get to work together all day and they live together. And, and they're doing it basically seven days a week for 15 hours a day. It, it's their life and it's their job and that's what they do. The flair to bartend requires focus and concentration. And it also makes the daily job more fun. Just getting a reaction out of the people and maybe... Um Something they didn't expect, especially at work. Someone comes up to the bar, you know, can I get a rum and coke? And instead of them, you know, just getting a, you know, maybe just give them a little, you know, it, it, it shows that you care about what you're doing a little bit more, and I think people appreciate that. Mark and Grant plan to compete again no, next year in right. Vegas. Their goal will be to finish in first place. And when they do, they'll retire from that competition, but still stay involved in the sport. In Vancouver, Angela Yee, News 4, Shaw TV.